Hello guys, today I want to quickly show you a package called Laravel Orion, which helps you to generate your API quickly. For simple APIs like CRUDs, it's a really good helper. It is created by this guy, Alexei Zarubin, so thank you for that, Alexei, for the ability to create APIs with this syntax. I've tried it on a simple project and I will show you. First, I want to apologize for my voice. I have a little cold, but I hope it doesn't stop you from getting the value from this video. So let's go. So how the package works is after you install it, so you do composer install or composer require, then you do vendor publish this, and then you make a controller like you would make a general controller. The differences come from what that controller extends. So instead of extending Laravel controller, you should extend Orion controller. Second thing you need to do is provide the model, the CRUD for which model. In my case, it's a user class, default Laravel user model. And then you can add more traits to be used to enable or disable some features. In this case, for simplicity, I disabled the authorization, so there is no API authentication or middleware. By default, in Config Orion, the guard is API, but if I provide that I disable that from the controller, then that API will not be used. You can use Sanctum here, for example, or other guards. Finally, in the routes file, what we need to do is to create resource from URL to the controller, like we would do typically in routes API. The difference is here. It's not route resource, it's Orion resource. And then you need to add Orion facade on top. And that's it. The result of that is when I launch Postman, get to API users, I send, and then I have the list of data. Under the hood, it uses Laravel API resources. That's why it's prefixed with data. And by default, also, it gives you paginated results. So there are links and meta, like you would do that in the regular Laravel API project. But if you want to disable that, it's actually really easy. In the controller, you just do use disable authorization and also use disable pagination. And also add that here. And now if we refresh our get request we have data and we don't have any links at the bottom and that controller contains all the methods so it's not just get the users but here's the list of all the methods available it's not just the seven default index and store and show and update but also there's search there's batch store batch update and batch destroy which i haven't tried myself but they are present you can read about those more in the documentation sections on search and batch operations what I did try was post request. So in my postman, I tried to create a new user with name, email, and password. So let's try to change that to email, I don't know, email4.com, for example. I send, and it works with ID of a new user inserted into the database. So it works totally well for simple CRUDs. If you want more customization, then you need to dive into the documentation. For example, for models, you can customize the queries. This is really interesting, actually. You can build the query and then also extend it with where conditions or something like that. For example, selecting only specific columns is described with this syntax. And this is where it gets tricky. And this is where I want to have a little bit of discussion with you in the comments, guys. What do you think about such generators? There are actually two types of code generators in Laravel and in general. Those who have additional layer on top and those who generate the native framework or language code. Laravel Orion adds the layer on top. So it works well for simple cases, but if you want to customize something, then you need to dive deep into the documentation of that package. You need to learn that language. And by the way, it's not only for you, for the future developers, for example. Someone joins your team and they need to know not how Laravel works, they need to know how Laravel Orion works. Similar examples could be Laravel Nova or Backpack or Voyager. I actually see on Upwork some jobs, or not only on Upwork, on job boards, people looking for Laravel Nova professional, not just Laravel professional, right? If we take a look at an example of documentation, for example, in Laravel Nova, to define the fields for the CRUD, you need to actually learn the Nova language. What is ID? What is text? What are the parameters? Methods like show or hide fields and stuff like that. It gives you great result, but it's a learning curve. Another example is Laravel Backpack. I found the documentation on that. This is similar to Orion, actually. In the controller, you do the setup and you set a lot of parameters like model, route, entity, operations, and then you use a lot of backpack related classes. So again, you need to learn their language. And if you want to customize that, you need to get deep into backpack documentation. 
I have also mentioned Voyager as admin panel generator, but this is a bit different example because it's visual. So you create the breads or cruds visually, but also it has additional syntax for like validation, JSONs, and some of the stuff you need to specify by again, getting deeper into Voyager documentation and not strictly Laravel. Another type, a different type, the opposite type of code generators is the generators that generate the actual framework or language code. So for example, Blueprint from Laravel Shift. It gives you the Laravel code generated with this artisan command, Blueprint Build. So you define your fields and a lot of parameters in the models, controllers, and stuff like that. If we open the documentation, generating the component with file syntax, it's YAML file. So you still have some learning curve here, but then the result of that is Laravel. And then it's easier to extend that Laravel by any developer, yourself or someone else in the future. So this is the actual code generator. Those mentioned before probably should be classified as something like admin panels or even content management systems or something like that. Not sure if there's a term for those Laravel, Nova, Backpack and Voyager, shoot in the comments below how to classify those. And here we have code generators. So one example is Blueprint. So you generate the Laravel code from YAML file. Another example is a package called Crest Apps Laravel Code Generator. So if we scroll down below the features installation, then you have the comment of create scaffold by model. In a deeper documentation, you have example, for example, PHP artisan resource file create, and you have more parameters here, basic example with form request, with soft delete, from existing database even, and a lot of other parameters. So here the learning curve is about what parameters to have to those artisan commands. But again, the result is Laravel code, which is customizable without additional knowledge on top of Laravel. And finally, the third example of such code generator that generates pure Laravel code. Of course, I'm biased here, but here's our quick admin panel. The difference from Blueprint and that Crest apps that it is visual. So you just create CRUD menu item. The learning curve here is that you need to learn how this window works. So how to create model name, what are the fields. So for example, if you want to create a CRUD called transactions, you enter the name, you check some checkboxes, then you add fields. By default, we have ID and timestamps, but maybe you have amount, and then you need to understand what are the field types, although they are pretty self-explanatory. So for example, there is a money field type, then you save, then you save the CRUD, and the result of that is generated, by the way, in our server side. And when it is done generated, you can view code, and the result of that, again, for example, HTTP controllers, admin, transactions controller, here's the code which is Laravel without any outside dependencies or any packages or traits. So almost any Laravel developer could take over and customize that and continue the work. So this video was not about quick admin panel, but it appeared to be a good topic for discussion based on the original Laravel Orion about two types of generators. So Laravel Orion represents the generator that adds its own syntax on top, which you have to learn to customize them. And let's discuss in the comments. Do you prefer these types of code generators or the ones like Blueprint, Crest Apps and Quick Admin Panel? If you tried any of them, let's discuss in the comments. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.